first and 10. As the school year approaches, students will be headed back to the class while younger children will head to daycare. But finding a daycare that has openings is becoming a hard task for many Green Country families. Two News Oklahoma's Shay Smith talked to one parent about the issues and finds a recent Tulsa City Council vote may help alleviate the lack of openings. That's right, Karen. Now Ronit Sachs, her husband and her son moved to Tulsa over Father's Day weekend. Her son is 10 months old and Ronit says she's about to start work in the next 11 days, but she's facing a problem hundreds of parents are facing right now. The lack of child care and openings in daycares in the area. My first and second week here alone, I probably went to at least seven or eight different facilities. I made appointments, I went to go see them. The Sachs family moved to Tulsa from Southern California. They've been looking for a daycare facility for their son since May, without any luck. Most of them in private daycare were told that they didn't have current availability enrollment status, so, um, so that was that. And then even more recently, now that I'm going to be going back to work soon, I probably visited at least another five uh, different facilities. She also says there is another issue she and other parents are facing when it comes to the daycares that do have openings. Again, they are so pricey for the salaries here. That's the difference between California and here. The city of Tulsa previously required a home to have a large lot to be eligible to be a daycare. But just last week, the city council passed a zoning change on the lot size, giving more Tulsa homes the opportunity to become licensed daycares. Sachs told me she thinks that will give local parents more options. So it should allow um, a lot of the in-home daycares are far more reasonable than the facilities. However, she says the vetting process will be important. Being new here, it very much is based off referrals, right? So, and I, I know that there is a system in place that the DHS team does do frequent stop bys and whatnot, but um, that would definitely have to be highly monitored. Now, if you are looking for a daycare, the Department of Human Services has a child, lo uh, child care locator tool, actually. You can type in your address, then a list of daycares nearby will pop up. You can find a link to that on our website at kjrh.com. In studio, Shay Smith, 2 News Oklahoma.